I'm here with my neighbor, um, and both of us, as you know earlier, because I just posted, um, we were having concerns about the, the level of the pool. Um, so in the last video, I mentioned that that was one of my concerns, and apparently it was one of my neighbor's concerns as well. And she came up with a fantastic idea. It's slow, but it's, but it's working. All right, so um, Anna and I are, are hunkered down. She's uh, officially over for the storm. And um, it's Friday night right now, and there's just been like a major, major, major shift in the, in the storm. Uh, initially, it was going to be going up the East Coast and then the center of Florida, and now it's actually gone to the West Coast. Um, so although I am absolutely thrilled, I'm feeling a lot more secure. I would have to say that, um, yeah, I'm a little worried. I have a lot of family actually over on the West Coast. So um, now it goes into like, hey, guys, you're going to be okay mode. Um, and it's almost like, wouldn't you say it's, it's almost like watching a, like a football game where like you're watching the scores and like things are changing really fast and it's, it's just sort of out of control. Now, what we've been hearing, though, is that we kind of still have to sit tight because it's um, like a windshield wa washer effect. So it's just kind of moving back and forth but towards the Naples area. For Wilma, when it hit the Naples area, or it was supposed to hit the Naples area, um, we actually got annihilated here. So again, we're still holding tight and, um, and, and we'll see what happens. So the eight o'clock uh, update just passed and basically what we've learned, um, especially with yesterday's vlog, um, uh, the, the storm has actually shifted very far west. So uh, what that means for us is that we're out of the, the cone, um, but keep in mind again, this is a, a 500 mile um, hurricane, so it's quite large, uh, but I'm definitely feeling a lot more um, secure uh, rather than it being like a, I'm gonna die or get injured uh, issue maybe we'll have some damage issue so they're expecting tropical force winds and um, that are going to be sustained and in addition to that it's going to be around um, 100 mile an hour uh, wind gusts they did say this last eight o'clock update is just a um, just sort of an overview of what's been going on over the night but the real update is going to be coming up at 11 so in the meantime, um, we, we are waking up and we are getting ready to um, make some, some bacon. <laughs> I'm definitely not vegetarian uh, and yeah, bacon is always good. And I like veggies too. So my dad is officially hunkered down. Um, again, both really not worried, but I just wanted to show you guys something. In our haste to get everything done, uh, we were trying to load some extra cars into my garage, but Dad sort of missed my, um, he kind of missed my Zooter scooter and sort of, uh, I didn't hit the screen that was there though. Yeah, he, he didn't hit the screen, but he did hit the Zooter scooter. And when I was buying it, I had the option of getting the one that's like, you could run over it with a tank, but I was like, I don't need it. You know, I'm never gonna run over my, my Zooter scooter. And uh, my dad ran over my Zooter scooter. It's a little BMW. It didn't do anything, did it? <laughs> the, whole front oh, end, the whole front end is bent. Like, completely, it's... Wow, man. And you guys know I like that thing. So the 11 o'clock update just happened. Um, and as you can probably tell at this point, there's just total... Uh, the stress is gone, let's just say that. At least for, for myself. Um, now the the cone has like totally shifted to the other side of the state like at this point I am completely out of the out of the cone I did reach out to my friends and family on the west coast. I did offer them to come here um, Which they declined which is totally fine and I completely understand it's really difficult unless you're in this actual situation um of wondering whether you should go or not um, if you do make, make that decision to stay um, I completely understand it because uh, I, I was that way as well. 
we all have our lives, our homes, our our things. So to, to just say get up and go, um, it's just not as easy as as it sounds. So I'm glad I made the decision to stay. I think I am completely 100% safe. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't even think I'm going to lose power. I mean, that's how confident I am in this. So we'll see what happens and, uh, and go from there. And uh, just to show you outside a little bit, it is, um, as you can see, the trees are starting to move. They're starting to move a little bit. Um, they're saying that we'll probably get uh, like tropical force winds and maybe some uh, some bands that'll have maybe a hundred miles per hour wind, but um, but just just some gusts here and there. So, and even at this point, I don't even know if we'll get that. To be honest with you.